hello everyone welcome back to my channel if you are new to my channel welcome today i'm going to show you how to clean sand for cooking in case you want to fry that granite and you are worried about all the things that happened on sand let me show you how to clean it so you can use it without fear so this is the sand on the day i got it from redondo beach and it has been sitting on my balcony for about three months the ocean water has evaporated and now i am ready to clean it though the ocean water has evaporated that does not mean that there are no microbes living in the sand so i'm just gonna put this in the plastic tub and start the cleaning process let me give you a close-up of the type of sand we are using it is commonly known as sharp sand in nigeria so i'm gonna start by heating up some water and bringing it to a boil then add a drop of dishwashing liquid into the sand when the water comes to a boil i'm gonna pour in the water and leave it to sit until it cools down so the hot water and the soap are gonna kill any living microbes so do not attempt to insert your hand because it's gonna burn you if you want to stir it use a plastic or wooden object now that it has cooled down i just added some more soap i'm just gonna scrub it the way you wash rice then rinse out the soap i did not add a lot of soap because if you do that it will be more tedious to get rid of the soap it would have been easier if this was a bigger container but i don't want to spread germs around so i'm just gonna make do with this one so i'm gonna continue to wash and rinse until the water is no longer soapy so i'm using warm water to rinse it's not hot water if this is your first time on my channel or you are a returning viewer and you are not yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button and on the notification bell so that you can get an alert whenever i post a video like and share the video thank you and god bless you you can also follow me on other social media platforms thank you so when i'm done rinsing out the soap we're gonna move on to the next level of deep cleaning i'm gonna be adding baking soda then vinegar this is gonna eliminate toxins and chemicals from the sand so i'm gonna massage the baking soda into the sand before adding the vinegar so i'll be adding the vinegar a little at a time so that we don't lose all the sand when it bubbles up I'm just going to try to mix it in so that everything gets to the bottom. See the way it is bubbling up? That is how you're going to lose a lot of sand when you add too much at a time. When baking soda and vinegar are mixed together, they create this chemical reaction and the reaction will remove any chemical from the sand. So I'm just going to let it sit until the reaction is over. Then I'll come back to rinse it out. So I'm going to be rinsing it by adding more water, stirring it, pouring it out, repeating it until the water runs clear. So let me use this opportunity to send a very special shout out to all those that have subscribed. You guys are the best. I love you. Thank you and God bless you. Please, when you're done washing, go and pour the water outside on the ground. Do not pour it in your sink because you don't want to clog your pipes. Once the water runs clear, I'm going to pour it into a sifter to drain out the water. Then rinse it some more to make sure there is no soap or baking soda. If not, the sand is actually not dirty. We are just trying to disinfect it and remove any chemical residue from the sand. As you can see, it is no longer soapy, so I'm going to spread it out to continue to drain. So I'm going to line my steamer with paper towel to prevent the sand from passing through the hose. This will prevent water from accumulating at the bottom. If I had put it in a container that has a sealed bottom, the water would have accumulated at the bottom. But this is going to help to drain out any water so i'm just gonna be repeating the same thing i did earlier on guys do you know that cooking with sand is one of the oldest method of cooking we uh, we cook with clay pot we bake we roast we fry things with sand there are some cultures they bury their food and cook it like an oven in the sand 
Then people roast things like peanuts, granite, potato, yams, and some other nuts in hot sand. Some people even heat up the sand and cook directly on it because sand retains heat. So we have been cooking with sand for a long time. It is not a new thing. When I'm done, I'm just gonna try to spread it out and let it continue to drain till the next day. If you're living in a very hot place, you can just leave it out for days under the sun. It's gonna dry out. But let me show you a quicker way to dry out the sand. I have already lined my baking sheet, so I'm just gonna pour the sand on the sheet and spread it out. So I'm gonna bake it in the oven for about 40 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius. This is gonna help dry the sand quickly and further sterilize it. And if any microbes survive the initial cleaning process, there's no way it's gonna survive it this time. So after 40 minutes, it has dried up nicely. I'm just gonna turn off the heat and let it continue to cool in the oven. Please do not touch it because sand retains heat. It's gonna burn you. So I let it sit in the oven for one hour to completely cool down. Now it has cooled down. As you can see, we still have some fragments of shell in the sand. So I'm gonna sift it to remove the larger particles. So a quick recap and importance of what we did to clean the sand. Firstly, I let the water evaporate. Then I also uh, soaked it in hot water and soap. These two things are gonna kill any living thing in the sand because whatever is in the sea cannot withstand heat. I also washed it with baking soda and vinegar. This is gonna eliminate every chemical. Then I also baked it for 40 minutes in the oven. This will definitely sterilize the sand. So this is how you clean the sand. The sand is so clean. You can use it without any fear of microbes or bodily fluid that has dropped on it so i'm not gonna lie to you despite all the cleaning the sand still has the smell of the ocean i have some popcorn at home that i'm gonna use to flavor it and eliminate the smell of the beach so once the sand heats up i'm gonna roast the corn in the sand feel free to use whatever you have at home you can also use peanuts if you have that and in case you are wondering if this is popcorn, yes it is. It is not the regular one you know that pops open, that blooms. This one does not. This one only swells but the taste is amazing. After roasting the corn in the sand, the beach smell is gonna disappear and it's gonna take up the flavor and the scent of roasted corn. So when I'm done, I'm just going to pour it into a sifter and sift out the sand, leaving the corn in the sifter. So the sand is still hot. I'm just going to let it cool down. Do not attempt to touch the sand. So when it cools down, I'm going to further sift it with a smaller sifter to remove bigger particles and some broken shells. So in case you're interested in cooking with sand and you're always worried about what was done on the sand put your mind at ease you can clean your sand and cook with it and in case you don't know it all those granite peanuts you buy from the store and the market they were all roasted in sand so clean your sand and use your sand so thank you guys for watching till i see you next time stay safe stay blessed i love you Bye.